Every now and then, a car comes along that takes the motoring world by storm, that literally becomes an overnight sales sensation. And one such car is the Citroen DS3. The DS3 literally came from nowhere. Citroen decided to take a bit of a gamble and go back in their history to use the DS name. And they put it, for the first time ever, on a small Super Mini. But it was a small car with a whole load of attitude. What people loved about the DS3 was the very much in-your-face front to the car that captured everyone's imagination. The very sharp headlights, the big grille featuring the double chevron of Citroen. The other reason the DS3 has been such a formidable success is that it's been brilliant on personalizing a car. You can get just about any color scheme you're thinking. There are some very, very funky colors which go with a very sporty look. This one is in like a plum purple with a matching white roof, matching white wing mirrors. They've added a lot of character to the car and people love it. When it comes to boot space, DS3 fits into the adequate class for a Super Mini. Let's face it, you're not taking all of the uh, big luggage you'd want in a, in a large car. That doesn't happen. It's got split folding rear seats as well, so it's reasonably practical for a small car. When you're taking a car on like the Mini, you not only have to look fairly funky and fun on the outside, but you also have to look fairly funky on the inside. And again, Citroen have done a great job with the interior of the DS3. It's a really cool small car. It's got lots of nice touches everywhere. Piano black trim on the dashboard, and it's got little touches of chrome on the center console. I like the seats that are finished in a sort of neoprene type of fabric, which is again different than everybody else out there. This is a car very much for the individual on the inside, just as it is on the outside. Of course, the other thing you need if you're challenging the Mini is a good drive. And once again, the French have done a very good job with the DS3. You get a choice of engines, 1.2 litre petrol, 1.6 VTI petrol, which is ironically the same as the Mini and the one to go for for the sporting driver and a 1.6 turbo diesel and that's obviously for the economy minded driver. I'm driving the 1.6 petrol engine and it really is a peppy little engine. It's got good performance especially for a small car. It's nippy and it's got reasonable handling. It's not as good a car to drive as the Mini, not quite as entertaining, but it's close enough for most drivers. If the 1.6 petrol has a problem though, it's got average fuel consumption. You're talking around about 40 mpg to 45 if you've got a really light foot. So if you're looking for economy, the one to go for there is the diesel, which will put you up a little bit closer to 55, 60 miles to the gallon, which is nearer what you'd expect from a Super Mini. A day behind the wheel of the DS3 has merely underlined to me why it's been such a runaway success and why over 370,000 people can't be wrong. This car is for people wanting to have that individual touch. It's for people wanting a small car that stands out with as much presence as a big car. And for that reason alone, you have to test drive this car when you're looking for a Super Mini, especially if you're looking for a Super Mini with a difference.